All right, everyone, since I lost a few of these last year and I have to make uh, some replacement, I figured um, I'll make a new video that's a little bit more detailed than the one I posted earlier on how to make these uh, seal-proof um, bait tube for lobster hooping or, or crabbing. So the tubes are uh, fairly simple. You probably uh, can figure out how I made these just by looking at them. But um, what I did here was I, uh, I made these out of three inch um, uh, PVC. You can also use ABS like I did um, the last time around. This was the original one I made about five or six years ago. As you can see, it held up really well. Uh, the only thing that has broken on this uh, in five or six years is the missing uh, carabiners that fell off because I made the loops a little bit too big. But as you can see, um, you know, all the everything is holding up well. Um, the bungee has a little sign of wear, um, you know, the utility rope there. Um, it's also holding up really well. So, you know, after five or six years of uh, of service, it, it's, it's uh, you know, as you can see here, it, it's held up really well. So now that I'm uh, making these the second time around, I've decided to go with uh, something a little bit smaller. Uh, main reason is to just reduce the amount of space that these picks up on my kayak because I do hoop on my kayak. So um, I decided to go with about three, uh, four inch and three quarter, so almost five inch, instead of, uh, you know, a little bit over six inch like I did uh, the first time around. Um, I also went with larger holes this time just because um, I was a little lazy. I didn't want to drill uh, more holes. So I went with larger holes and, and drill few, fewer holes instead. But um, I do know that going with smaller holes like this uh, have some benefit. Um, you know, it would make the um, uh, crab or, or lobster work a little bit harder for to get to the food. So they'll stick around a little bit longer. Your bait would last longer and whatnot. But you know, for personal preference, you can go with smaller, uh, but I went a little bit larger. So this is a little bit larger than um, uh, 3 fourth, And I used uh, this step bit here to drill the holes. Okay. Um, now, when I did these, I used a regular just straight drill bit. And uh, I found that this was way, way quicker. Even though this material is denser and harder and harder to drill, uh, I was able to drill these holes a lot quicker than those holes over there. Okay, so so use these these step bits because you'll be you know drilling hundreds of holes. I I, I actually made eight of these, so I drilled um, you know, and it took me maybe about thirty five to forty five minutes to drill all these holes for eight tubes. Okay, so after you cut the uh, PVC to length, uh, whichever length you prefer, and you drill the holes, um, you would want to then get these uh, test caps. Okay, these are three inch test caps. Uh, I believe these runs uh, maybe, you know, 50 cents these days, um, but I've had these for quite a while and I, I think I only paid about five or 10 cents for these. And uh, on one end, you would drill three holes, one larger hole and two smaller holes. And on the other end, you would drill just one large hole in the middle, okay? And the two small holes, you would then uh, tie uh, a string or loop it through. And this is just so you can pull the cap off, um, you know, to rebate or to add bait when you need it. W without that string, um, and especially if your hands are wet uh, and slippery, getting these caps off are very hard to do. Okay, so add these strings here. Once you add the string, you would then loop through uh, a bungee. And the, this is a quarter inch marine grade bungee that has uh, a Dacron sleeve. So uh, as you can see on the old one there, these hold up really well. You, sleep, you would sleeve this through uh, both ends uh, and then you would zip tie a carabiner to both ends, okay? So you can see here, I use two zip ties on each end. And um, you know, as an advice, you can use a, a, a needle nose plier like this, grab the end and twist it and that would torque the zip tie down um, harder than you would be able to with just your bare hands. Um, if you have one of those zip tie tools, that would be even better, but I don't. You would do the same right by the base here. And this is to keep, uh, you know, a little bit of tension on the, on the uh, bungee so that uh, it keeps the uh, test caps from, from falling out 
um, while it's in the water, you know, you know, when it's kicked around in the current and whatnot. So, you know, if you pull it, uh, you, you can see here there's, there's, you know, a little bit of tension, so there's no room for the cap to just come off. Okay, so same thing on the other side, uh, just a carabiner and two zip ties. Okay, and, and that's about it. I mean, um, you know, it, it probably took me, I want to say about an hour and a half to make eight of these. Uh, and, and really, if I was more prepared with the tooling, it probably would have been even quicker than that. And each one of these, I think at today's material cost, you know, I, I want to say they cost about maybe $4 to make. Um, so, I mean, this is probably about, you know, 50, 60 cents worth of PVC. The test, cap, test caps, both caps are probably a dollar. Um, these carabiners are a dollar each, okay? And the uh, bungee, I, I think because this is a marine grade bungee, uh, you know, it ran maybe, uh, you know, close to a dollar a foot. And you need less than a foot for one of these, okay? And, and a couple of zip ties, so, you know, six zip ties. Um, so I wanna say, you know, uh, overall cost, maybe four, 450. Uh, as opposed to buying these uh, at the shop, um, you know, for, for upwards of $12, $15 these days, okay? So I hope this video helps someone. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to, um, you know, let me know. Uh, and I'll, uh, if I decide to post this on uh, my Facebook or, or my uh, YouTube, um, I'll put links to the materials because I got most of the materials except for the test cap and the PVC on Amazon. So you can get these at Home Depot uh, and then the rest you can just buy on Amazon. Okay, hopefully this video helps.